Hi, kids. I can see you all in your classrooms. I will be meeting, leading Morning Circle this morning. So let's get started whenever you're ready, Miss James. And thanks for running us on the one and twos. I am here in my office today, so I want to hear all of our students doing our chant this morning, okay? All right. Making sure that I'm listening. All right. One, two, three. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to have to start again. Again, I didn't hear you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's Valentine's Day. I need you guys to say it like you mean it, okay? All right. Let's hear it One, two, three. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going? Why are we going to college? Education. And why do we need an education? Okay, one more time. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going? College. Why are we going to college? To get an education. And why do we need an education? Good opportunities are lots to make a difference in our communities. Very good, very good. It is time for our Pledge of Allegiance. Find a flag to salute wherever you might. I'll find mine and let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. And I believe I have the quote for today. And the quote for today comes from probably the best-selling book ever. I'll let you guys figure it out. But I chose it because it's about love. Let me read it to you. Above all, have fervent and unfailing love for one another because love covers a multitude of sins. It overlooks unkindness and unselfishly seeks the best for others. I'm gonna read that again. Above all, have fervent and unfailing love for one another because love covers a multitude of sins and it overlooks unkindness and unselfishly seeks the best for others. Regardless of your beliefs, I think this is pretty good advice for us to follow on Valentine's Day, to love one another and look for the best. So that is our quote for the day. I'm going to give you a moment of reflection for that quote, and then we're going to talk about some announcements. All right, let's move on to our student of the week. Mr. Jackson, are you in the house? There he is, always on time. I love it. Yes, I'm right here. Where we at? All right, we got the student of the week. And y'all know I'm always excited when we got my computer up, but I'm gonna look at the screen. Either way, we're gonna work it out. Oh yeah, okay. So for our student of the week, it's the fifth grade. Let's see what I got here. Oh my God, Mr. Kevin Menendez. He is awesome. He is quiet, but always prepared. He is the quintessential gentleman. That's a good word right there. Always polite and on task. Kevin is focused and leads by example. Those that aspire, those that aspire to be diligent historians need look no further than Kevin Menendez. Let's go for it. And then we don't stop. We have the sixth grade student of the week. Oh, is that? We will see him in just a second, but I'm sure that it is Allison Varela Bartales. Allison is an enthusiastic learner. We love how she participates and advocates for herself. If Allison has a question, she asks it. And if she has a good riddle, she shares it. And she does. She really does. She shared about three of me. You are a reader, writer, jewelry maker extraordinaire. We are super proud of your hard work this year, Allison. Let's go, man. Let's go. All right. All right. We won't stop with the Menendez. Then let's go. Seventh grade student of the week, Miss Kelly Menendez. And I hope I'm saying that correctly. But Kelly, Kelly goes... Kelly, this goes without saying. 
But this choice was a no brainer. You are a quiet force of nature. You stay on top of your work 99% of the time and do your best. You have a kind personality and are supportive of your peers. You may not always say it, but your, your hard work shows how much your academic career means to you. Also, your hair is always stylish and don't fleek. Let's go, Kelly. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Let's go with the eighth grade student of the week. And that looks like Mr. Kevin Cruz. Kevin is rocking it out second semester. He's shown a lot of growth, independence, and personal responsibility. He's learned not to let distractions bother him in class. Let me repeat, y'all. He's learned not to let distractions bother him in class. He is completing his schoolwork ahead of schedule and able to maturely balance his socializing and responsibilities. Keep up the great work, Kevin. We are proud of you, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to all of our students of the week. You guys Thank rock. you, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> You're always amazing. I love your energy during morning circle. We have a couple of announcements from a couple of wonderful teachers. Um, Mr. Ledich has an announcement. Ms. Rice has an announcement. And I have some announcements for today. So, Mr. Ledich, take it away. Thank you. Um, Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good Monday morning. Uh, I just wanted to announce two contests for Black History Month. Um, the first one, and you can find this information on our social studies website as well, but we're doing both a visual arts contest and a door decorating contest. Um, the visual arts contest is for students to choose a quote from a famous African American uh, scientist, inventor, healthcare worker, and either do a visual art piece, a poem, or an essay based on that quote. And for the door decorating contest, I'm asking morning groups to choose a famous African American, again, doctor, healthcare professional, or scientist, and design some sort of uh, door decoration based on that person and sort of what they're famous for. And again, you can find all this information on our social studies website. Thank you. All right, Ms. Rice, whenever you're ready. Hi, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Okay. Um, you will notice, hopefully you've noticed, our um, eighth grade mentors out and about. Um, and I just wanted to let teachers and students know that they will be visiting Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week because we have a short academic week at school. So um, be looking for them then. Thanks so much. Thank you, Ms. Rice. I have a couple of reminders for you today. Students, first of all, happy Valentine's Day. Second of all, this is a short week for you for face-to-face -face instruction this week. We are in school face-to-face -face Monday through Wednesday. Thursday is asynchronous. Log on and do your assignments to get credit for them. It is not a free day. Knock them out early in the morning so you can enjoy the rest of your day, but asynchronous days are work for you as well. So please don't forget, after Thursday, our asynchronous day, it is winter break from Friday to Monday. So we are not back in school until Tuesday of next week. Please make sure you are asking your parents to log on to Remind and sign up. If you are a student, especially if you are a senior, you should be signed up for Remind so that you get our messages as well. Today, we are doing makeups for access testing, first and second period. If I call your name during announcements for transition, I want you to meet your test facilitator at the location. Our testers today will be Ms. Sue and Mr. Gobea. And finally, students, I want to make sure that you are aware that we have quiet transitions, regardless of whether we're testing or not, out of respect for the instruction that happens in our school. So quiet transitions aren't just for when there's testing, although they need to be especially quiet during testing. I want you to remember that you did a fantastic job last week and you got a reward for it. I'd like to be able to do the same thing again this week. So I will be looking at each grade's transitions. Last but not least, on the calendar, it says that it is Black History Month today. But for most of us here at PATH, Black history is year round. This is a friendly reminder that Black history is indeed American history and history for all of us because there are Black Latinos as well. 
So please make sure you are doing your homework and celebrating your heritage and our history here in this beautiful country, because Black history, my friends, is American history. Remember to look these things up. Um, don't just take it from me, because I encourage you all to do your own research. That's it for announcements today. We're going to close this morning circle with what we do best, which is our motto. One, two, three. We are nice. We work hard. We are on task and on time. We persevere. We accomplish. We triumph and we do it with honor. We are Path Academy. Please remember, not just because it's Valentine's Day, that each and every day when you walk through these halls, we love you. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the hallway. We love you. Bye.